This week's commentary is on YouTube user TommyNC2010. Oh, by the way, commentaries are a weekly thing now. I'm doing them every Tuesday, so just to let you know. This video is his rant about the bane of every brony's existence, the friend zone. Hello, folks. It's me, TommyNC2010. Let's talk about the friend zone. Let's not. Let's talk about that fucking DVD collection behind you that's like in shambles falling on the floor. The friend zone. Now... This reference came across for me was the movie Just Friends with Ryan Reynolds. He I don't know why, but the fact that you discovered the friend zone through a goddamn romantic comedy starring Ryan Reynolds is the funniest thing in the world to me. He's in love with a high school sweetheart, and he's humongously fat. You have weird eyebrows. I mean, I'm not one to talk, but like, whoa. And he's always picked on about his weight. So the, th the sunglasses combined with like the bill of the hat looks like a duck or something. Like, Howard the Duck is, like, on your face. But, uh, so, the thing about the friend zone is, what is the friend zone? The friend zone is a way that straight men use to place the blame on someone else as to why a woman isn't interested in them. The friend zone is when a girl doesn't give a crap about you. Dude, if you're bitching about being someone's friend, then you don't give a crap about them. Most women are interesting. They mostly want the brawny kind of guy. The kind of guy with the tight jeans, it has the big truck, and is an asshole. To you, to the girls, he might not be an asshole. And even if he is, it's none of your business. And what do I mean? I have dealt with situations like this before. By dealt with, he means read green text stories on the R9 keyboard on 4chan, which is like literally the internet's rectum. Where the girl wants to date the asshole, and not date a guy like me. Yeah, ladies, why don't you want to date this catch? You could watch early 2000s Ryan Reynolds movies with him. You're gonna lose your virginity to Van Wilder? For instance. And why do girls want the asshole? Um, girls do not want the asshole. Girls hate it when a guy tries to do anal. Because they, the guys that are the geeks and that are the nice guys, the nice guys, you know, the, the nice guys finish last kind of guys, Holy shit. You need, like, a whole bottle of head and shoulders on that fucking mop on top of your head. You know, they don't want that kind of guy. They want the asshole. Because, understand this, folks, when you see a, a big brawny guy jump into a truck, that is your typical, I hate to say this, typical asshole. Hey, I drive a pickup truck, and I'm in no way an asshole. And... Why is it that girls are not interested in geeks? Because apparently we are not worth space. Okay, what would you rather do? Hop into the, the front seat of a, of a hot jock and big masculine truck or squeeze into the passenger seat of some brony's fucking Miata? But you know what? There's one guy lucky here on Valentine's Day that is a geek and has a girl. That would be Chris and Diana. They are a good couple, and things went well. The, the geekish way went well for Chris Perello. Hang on, I gotta look that up because that name sounds really familiar. Okay, so I just looked it up. Chris Perello is like some YouTube vlogger or something, and I guess he's the, the shining example of how a relationship is supposed to work, considering he's had three divorces. And, you know, but every other guy out there, you know, it's, it's tormented by these women. It, you know, each, you know... By the way, I ask uh, for your friend zone. Make uh, make a video, no comments, please. I ask. Um, I I strictly ask for no no comments. Just make video comments. Yeah, actually, please do make a video. I really want to see it. I really don't. And um, put them down below the video and explain your friend zone situation. Because honestly, in my opinion, I don't think you should be in the friend zone. I think when that stuff happens. You run. Okay, so you're friends with a girl, and the entire time that you're friends with her is just uh, a quest to get into her pants and have a relationship with her. Like, if you're so shallow that you can't just be a friend with somebody, then you don't deserve a relationship in the first place. Just because you have a pulse and you're a, a single male, you don't, you're not entitled to get some poontang. Just run as fast as you can. As soon as or, in your case, awkwardly jog down the hallway of your high school and then trip and drop your binder and have papers splatter everywhere. She says, I just want to be friends. Um, bye-bye. Bye-bye. I never cared about you in the first place because I'm a selfish prick. You know, like, you know, 
I think what's cold hard about this is the female aspect is they think guys like me that are that are not good enough so what they do is they're just like they make up excuses and they do whatever they can when they can trying to cover up how they really feel if a girl has really feelings for you she will not come out and tell you man Look, if a girl's not interested, she's not interested. You can't change that unless you, like, fucking coddle her and from childbirth like some Celine Dion, Renee Angelil kind of fucking pedophile shit. If you're ever in the friend zone, run. Run as fast as you can. Because if you, I tell you what, if you have a half of a brain about the size of the asshole monkey brain that is normally beating the girl in the face with his cock, and yelling at her and getting her pregnant and saying, STAY AWAY FROM MY GIRLFRIEND! Okay, let me get this straight. So it's not okay for the jock to have sex with a girl, but it's okay for the socially awkward, greasy brony to have sex with the girl, even though he is entirely transparent and shallow and is trying to mask his lust with, like, fucking friendship. Plus, what's wrong with being in the friend zone? I thought friendship was magic. You know, that is... The normal asshole. Big truck. Time to check your blood sugar. I'm doing, I'm telling you this for a reason. A big reason. To help you out. And to help myself out. Today is Valentine's Day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start my vlog today. And do a bunch of vlogging on Valentine's Day. Okay, so I just checked, uh, according to my walking dad calendar, uh, with my daddy, Merle. Um, according to the calendar, Valentine's Day is the 14th, so this isn't my Valentine's Day special. The next commentary I'm doing is my Valentine's special because it might be the most fucked up romantic thing I've ever seen. Actually, Slave Norma Jean and Birth of Bert, but whatever. But, uh, I'm gonna try to do what I can. I'm Tommy NC 2010. Stay out of the friend zone. Yep, stay out of the friend zone because I'm a shallow piece of shit. Oh, before I end the commentary, well, actually, before I play the Patreon uh, clip, I should mention that I am having a special collaboration project thingy on this YouTube channel. It's for my 40th commentary special. Um, basically, the way it works is you get in contact with me if you want to participate. And I'm going to give you, like, two or three lines to read, and you go on camera and you read the lines in your best impression of me, like, be it my mannerisms or my voice or my set behind me, although I don't think you have a lover like I do. But basically just try to do a Cody Briscoe impression on video and send the raw footage to my email address, which I'll send to you. And it's going to be used in something very special for my 40th commentary. So yeah. Oh, and if you don't have a camera or don't want to go on camera, I also have voiceover things that I need read. So if you want to record a couple lines of voiceover, uh, get in touch with me, same rules. I'll just give you a couple lines and you uh, email it to me. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and let's play my clip of me desperately begging for money. Hey guys, currently I am partnering with Patreon.com, which is the best way to support the content creators online that you love. The way you sign up is you enter in your financial information, and every time that I release a new video, you are going to be giving a small donation. You can choose how much you want to donate, you set your own limit, and you can even set a maximum amount. Patreon is not Kickstarter. You do not give a large donation. You only pay after I release the video. Now, this doesn't mean that I'm going to start charging for my videos, but this is the best way to support all the changes that I have planned for this here. The donations that I receive from Patreon will go to support my uh, convention and festival reporting videos as well as a new online comedy web series that I've been working on for quite some time. Patrons, who are the people who have signed up to donate, will receive perks that non-patrons don't have. Being a patron would be the best way to make my videos even better in 2014, so hopefully you sign up. The link is in the description. No, Iggy, get off me, what are you doing? <laughs>